Hey guys on YouTube, uh, another high pro pump maintenance video here for you. I'm working on a D30 uh, pump today and uh, I've got this used. I'm going to run a second truck for 2021 and I'm going to put this pump on it. So uh, this pump uh, basically was found in a warehouse. The gear oil was like molasses and uh, as I peeled it open I found some corrosion on the bearing and uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the oil seal. Now, I'm at the tricky part where a lot of people uh, struggle with getting the gearbox side of the uh, the pump off the engine. These things are usually seized on pretty good. Uh, there's a couple of videos out there, one from Rittenhouse, they suggest uh, getting pry bars in behind there and, and um, kind of lifting off the, the gearbox from the shaft. And uh, they go to the next step of actually recommending to cut this gearbox off. Now... Changing a seal and a bearing might cost you about $25, $30, but uh, they're suggesting you cut open a $700 gearbox, which is what it would cost in Canada to get access to that uh, bearing and oil seal. Or if you needed to take your engine off your pump, you're going to be into the oil seal and the bearing anyway. Anyway, short and the long of it is there is a snap ring deep inside, which uh, keeps the shaft on the... Um, on the bearing there and uh, what I've done is I've made up my own adapter plate as you can see here I still got the the die on it and I I, I misjudged the uh, the cutting on the lathe I bored that out on the lathe and did the rest on the drill press and basically fashioned up a, a puller and all we're doing here is we're just using the oh there we go this is gonna be hard to do with uh, one and a half hands See if I can get this going here. Maybe not. All right. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just slowly uh, drawing this bearing off the shaft. You know what? I'm going to pause it. Okay. Nobody wants to see somebody uh, struggling with a camera in their uh, their shop. Okay. So the uh, the shaft is now off the uh, the gearbox, and it was pretty uneventful. We just basically pulled up the uh, the assembly after we took out that snap ring there and you can see that snap ring groove so obviously there'll be a another snap ring in the front um, holding that shaft on in place and then there's the oil seal so we need we knew we need, we're gonna do the uh, oil seal anyways but uh, that's one way of getting this whole assembly off just got to make up your own adapter plate and uh, to, to get your oil seals there without basically throwing out a gearbox all right, I hope that helped. Cheers.